Now fast forward 10, 12 years later, it's 2022, and basically everything we predicted about legalization and how that would affect drug dealers like us came true. It was Colorado, Oregon, California, Washington. Now so many other states have made weed legal. It is probably less than a generation away from becoming federally legal. And dealers like me, outlaws, guys, hustlers, guys who were in it to make money uh, have basically been wiped out. They've either been wiped out or they've had to move into the legal marijuana space. Now, there are still cartels growing a lot of pot, especially in California. There's big cartel grows up in the forest, out in the desert. You know, their cartels are setting up these big warehouses, these giant greenhouses, 20 times as big as the ones I saw uh, that turn out tens and tens and tens of thousands of pounds a year. Uh, and they're shipping them to the East Coast the states where it is still illegal or half illegal, uh, but their profit margins have just been destroyed. Back in our day, we were making a minimum $1,000 profit per pound off of every single pound that we shipped to the East Coast, at minimum. Today, that's been reduced by about 90%. Uh, the most you can expect to make is about 100 maybe $200 profit per pound. That means if you wanna make any kind of real money, You've got to be involved in one of these gigantic, large-scale cartel operations. And quite frankly, the cartels ain't letting you in. They don't need you anymore. They have got a stranglehold on what remains of the kind of transnational interstate trafficking operation when it comes to marijuana. Uh, the other guys who are making money are the guys who own dispensaries. Now, there are a lot of guys still making money in the illegal space. California is still, I think 80% of the market is still black market weed, but it's guys who also operate with one foot in the legal game. These are usually the trap shop owners, guys who own dispensaries, but they kind of sell weed out the back door, you know what I mean? Or people who grow weed, but only have a license to grow a certain amount and they grow a big amount. That's another way to make money is to be vertically integrated. So guys who own the means of production and the means of retail distribution. So A to B, uh, you've got the whole thing Amazoned out, right? By and large, the legal marijuana industry today is controlled by the same forces who pushed to make it illegal all those years ago. It's corporatized, it is dominated very much so by Wall Street firms, private equity companies, uh, investment capital that wants to monopolize the market and push black market dealers like myself to the margins or to put us under completely. Hey guys, if you like that clip, make sure to check out the full video right here and subscribe to the channel right here.